on for the Bucks County Herald. I met two groups of young men here today from universities, and they are concerned about the wars and possibly a draft being reinstated. Um, what's your take on that, Senator? Well, what, what a... Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think, look, my honest, my honest guidance to those young men, and I think their concerns are very legitimate, but if you're worried about the world spinning out of control, if you're worried about a military draft, if you're worried about, God forbid, a world war, the best way to prevent it is to vote for Donald Trump. And I, I really believe that. Look, ma'am, I, I think it's a totally reasonable question because we are as close to a large-scale conflict all over the world as we've been in my lifetime. And we've gotten here because we've had leadership that has been weak and leadership that has been very dumb when it comes to basic diplomacy. Now, yet yeah, we talked about Zelensky coming in here. Zelensky has gotten $200 billion. Donald Trump has the, is the only person of either major American political party, the only person who has stood with Zelensky and said, yes, the Russians should not have invaded Ukraine, but the killing has to stop. We need an American president who stops the bloodshed and stops the carnage. And that is what Donald Trump had the courage to do. And, and I think if you're a young person or whether you're the parent or the grandparent of a young person, we know that when the world goes to hell, it is America's sons and daughters that risk life and limb to put it back together again. So if we want, and, and, and I'm a proud veteran of the United States Marine Corps, and I know we have a lot of veterans out there. Thank you for your service. But the most precious, the most precious natural resource that we have, and we have a lot of them, but the most precious is the lives of our young people who are willing to put on a uniform and sacrifice for this country. It's an amazing thing that we got to cherish and we got to care for. And here, here's what bothers me so much about Kamala Harris's policies. It's not just that it's weak and it's not just that it doesn't make any sense but it's careless and incompetent. Because remember, Kamala Harris bragged about being the last person in the room when the decision about the Afghanistan withdrawal was made. And then that withdrawal happened and 13 innocent Americans lost their lives and nobody has been fired from it and there's been no real investigation. That is a disgrace of Kamala Harris's leadership. And when Donald Trump is back in the White House, we are gonna fight to investigate what exactly happened. We're going to fire those responsible and we're going to protect Americans who put their lives on the line for this country.